Oh, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Lucy and Sean here at Cinefax to give you guys another trailer breakdown of the new Morbius trailer that just came out. First off, have you ever heard of Morbius? Do you know anything about the character? A little bit. I used to read about some of uh, his comics when I was younger. All I really knew when the trailer dropped was he was a vampire and somewhat of a villain of Spider-Man, just bits and pieces of knowledge. So I did a little bit of digging, just to find out a little bit more about Dr. Michael Morbius. Uh, my name is Michael too, so I'm also a really cool vampire anti-hero. What a shitty so. sequel. Michael too. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What? Nothing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 cool. uh, oh, uh, shit. Uh. All right. So let's just get right into it. Roll credits. All right. So we're going to do a quick little trailer kind of preview and breakdown of what we see both in terms of behind the scenes with like color correction, post effects, all that stuff. Um, but first let's just kind of get into it and watch it and see. And not pause it. And not pause it. A million times. A million times. <laughs> we learned our lesson last time. That didn't press play. It didn't, it didn't play. Oh, oh. It was about to play. <laughs> his abs. <laughs> yeah, his abs. Stuck in my head forever, so great. Michael, I've known you since the color correction a is uh, gritty. It is. It's very it is. similar to Human Venom. Gift. It is. Venom. You know what? It is actually. So it's really green, very unsettling um, style of color correcting. Is that the scene from My Chemical Romance? <laughs> I should have died years ago. Strong shots. I like the shadows. He does look sickly, and I wonder if he did like a Christian Bale and lose a bunch of weight for this, or if it's yeah, he does body look, double or something. Yeah, it does look fairly skinny. Yeah, but then this can be my last chance. Gotta get the very sterile subway white tile. Oh yeah, yeah. That's about it. CGI helicopters, awesome. Oh yeah. I want to see you get hurt more than you already have. Love interest. This yeah, will be a cure. Now this part confuses me a little bit. Yeah. But no, he's just got rabies. I appreciate the occult stuff. I like a bat tornado. But he's a doctor. I feel like he would be a little bit more rational than relying on locking himself in a cage. Can't control it. I love you, but I want to drink your blood. <laughs> all right, oh, so... Don't brag about... Yeah, all the Spider-Mans and Van, yeah. uh, Venom, so... Don't brag about the Venom. I went through time. I feel more alive than ever. It's feeling hotter and tanner than ever. I like the super strength. That's weird. Don't quite know how I feel about the particles in the trailer. That's the location. I love eyes the echolocation were, effect. Yeah. I like the eyes and the eyes and the echo was pretty good. Yeah, it's just the whole. This part looks cool. I love the like first person view thing. Yeah, I, yeah. This like the like that How part looks fun. Are we allowed to go? Spider Man, Spider -Man in, the in the background. Loxius, uh, crown, crown, hunger. Had to look that up. Until the remedy. But I don't know. It seems like it could be a lot of fun. The movie. Is worse than the disease. That's cool. Yeah, that he that looks, looks really really there. good. That ending was really really well done. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing he's gonna like lose his control. Yeah, and he has to has to feed. Yeah. And then there, of course, vulture. Vulture. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that's gonna be an ending credit scene, an after credit scene. Do you think so? I think that's going to be an after credit scene. I feel like they're only putting it in there to get Spider-Man fans excited that a new villain 
slash anti-hero is going to be coming into Spider-Man's universe. All right, so now we're just going to go play the trailer in loop, and we're going to discuss things like color correction, some hidden Easter eggs. Yes, <laughs> Easter eggs. eggs. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Video in loop, and we're going to discuss anything. <laughs> We're going to discuss the Eastern eggs. All right, guys, so now we're going to play the trailer on loop. We're going to discuss a few different things that we saw in the trailer that we might have liked, that we might not have liked. Um, things ranging from color correction to some of the effects used, um, as well as the Easter eggs that were placed inside of this. Some of them. Things that we can point out. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and put that bad boy on loop. So the color correction right here, I think is pretty nice. You got crushed whites, crushed blacks, very contrasty. It's kind of like that in the whole thing. Even in this, this has a green hue on it. This is very sickly. Like I think it's supposed to reflect him in the way his health is at that moment. Whereas the very crushed looks and orange look are all flashbacks. Mm -hmm. It'll probably um, change depending on the present day or the yes. scene. When so, he's got his powers or not. Yeah. So he's obviously really sick. Um, obviously, he's trying to find a cure for himself, going through bats, I assume. Well, yeah, um, he's trying to... He has a rare blood disorder, and, you know, vampire bats, they're yeah. known for their uh, dr drinking blood. I will say one thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you off right here. This there scene right here, I appreciate the occult stuff. The but slicing if, his hand scene yeah. is what he's referring to. Yes. He's a doctor. I think, I feel like he's going to be much more... Um, he's just got rabies. You need a shot, Shug. Hey, 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 Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's holding his bloody hand out to a bunch of bats in a cave. I would agree more had he been in his... Um, his lab. His lab had found a bat of some sort in the jungle that someone caught that has some super rare genetic mutation and he's on his last leg and he just says you know what fuck it and then just has it bite him mm -hmm. i would rather see that than or him. injects himself with or, like yeah. with something from the bat's blood yeah yeah i would rather see that now this these scenes right here with the particle the the i I like the effects of the sonar, but him, the, the purple like jumping thing I think is weird just because it's like covering him up. I don't know if it's just hiding maybe some not done effects. If I don't know if it'll... It, it, the, the other scenes where he's jumping, it doesn't do it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I just don't understand. Or, and like the red ball. Like, what is that ball? Like, what is he doing with that? I think is that it, was an apple. Pretty sure it's an apple. I will agree with you that the apple and jumping scenes are very Venom-esque. So do you guys remember in Venom when um, Tom Hardy's Venom and Riot were going at it at the end and they pulled each other apart and their bodies both split apart? That is almost that same effect, yeah. I feel like. And I feel like it's being just recycled for something else. And I'm not sure how I personally feel about it. Especially when you mention like the colors, like just keep it like dark, like dark smoke or black if you're gonna use something like that. The colors mm -hmm. throw me off. The dark purple and then the, yeah. the red with the ball or apple, whatever it is. I yeah. don't care. I don't want them to have the effects. I feel like if they do the effects in the fight scene, it's gonna kind of muddy it and just. And I hope they play on it more of his ability, his inability to control his need for blood. I like yes. when vampire stories keep that and. Have that as a consistent struggle that they like have. a moral exactly. internal conflict that they're having. If Morbius, he's not a bad guy, but he has to drink blood, so yes. it's like a moral dilemma that he has. Oh, Blade has that dilemma too, but he has a serum that he can take that'll help curb his. Well, maybe Blade appetite. will show up and help. I'm, re <laughs> I'm really okay. So they're doing the new Blade series, and I'm. Fully. Oh, wait. Is Blade made by Marvel? Yes. Okay. But I wonder if they'll let Sony use him for any of this. But I would love to see Blade go up against Morbius. I want to talk about Crown. Look, uh, Hunger. Hunger. And I wonder how they're going to tie that in. Are they going to kind of... His struggle with, you know, his blood disease, getting his new powers struggling with the blood addiction and then hey 
this guy with the same powers as you comes along? Or is it... I wonder how they're going to handle that. Mm. It, I, I hope it's it's kind of not till the end or like the latter half of the movie where they're like, hey, this guy is trying to take... He's, he's forcing somebody to replicate the experiment to give him powers because he's a bad guy. He is the actual bad guy. Yeah. Um, he's like the carnage to, to, to Venom where Venom is only kind of bad. This guy's worse. I don't know, but if I were to speculate... He's a vampire. He can probably sense the presence or had figured out that this doctor somewhere had experimented and gone to this area where this guy might have been, found out about it, is tracking him down. Probably, I would assume, maybe he only wants one of him around and not this guy. And then they probably duke it out at the end. Or... You do the ending plot like you just said. You just kind of introduce them towards the end, set up the next movie. Because I'm going to assume this whole movie is all his life before and flashbacks, his current of him trying to figure out. Because they got to set out his whole timeline. A lot of people don't know who this character is. I didn't really know who he was. That's true. They got to do his whole origin story. Yeah, it's kind of a setup for and the, it's, the Sony verse again. The shot of him as. Full fledged vampire esque. I'm guessing we're sweet. not gonna see that until the end. I'm gonna guarantee it. So then, not gonna put money on it. So don't more contact more me. theories though. <laughs> um, is the vulture and the Spider Man graffiti vulture after credit scene? Calling it right now. Trying to get Spider Man fans excited for it and ultimately to walk through the door and give them their money for this. But now is it going to be Tom Holland Spider-Man? Because it's not the Tom Holland suit. No. That's, or All is right. that just a mess up for the trailer? They, that, that's okay. also a possibility. Okay, let's break this down, people. <laughs> okay, the Spider-Man image on the wall when Morbius walks through the alleyway in his orange jumpsuit. I'm going to guess that he had just broken out of prison or some high max security lab. Mm-hmm. He's walking past. Now, I like your thought about them placing that in there on purpose. Do you remember in Spider-Man Far From Home when he goes and meets everybody and Aunt May's, um, I think it was like a soup kitchen or homeless shelter, and he's talking with everybody. He's on stage. They're all asking him questions about stuff. He gets kind of wigged out and freaked out and goes on the ledge. They purposely put... Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man on that big wall on that mural, but that wasn't in the movie. They got people excited that way, so that very well could be a dupe it to is, get people yeah. in the theater and to see it, it and talk about it as part of the MCU. I'm going to say if they left it in there, they probably don't have the rights to Marvel's ver- version of the Tom Holland suit, mm-hmm. either for this movie or... Since the image was, I believe, the PS2 or PS3 Spider-Man game with Tobey Maguire's... If that is, however, the case, two options. They are either using it because they don't have the right to Marvel's Tom version. Holland yeah, Tom Holland suit. They just had to put something in as a placeholder. If not that then I would assume that it's going to possibly open up the Spider-Verse for potential different timelines and dimensions of Spider-Man and Tobey Maguire might reprise his role. I highly doubt that just because Vulture is in the same white jumpsuit Mm -hmm. and gray undershirt that he wore at the end uh, where he meets Scorpion in Homecoming. So... I doubt it's going to be a separate timeline and it's going to be the Spider-Verse. That would be really cool. I'd like to see Tobey Maguire, maybe Andy... Uh, Andrew Garfield? Andrew Gar- Garfield. Garfield. <laughs> Garfield. I think he's British, isn't he? Yeah, I think he is. I think everybody's so, British. So, that would be cool to have all these old Spider-Men reprise their roles. I doubt they're going to do it. I hope it's good. I, I think it looks cool. I think it was a bold choice because it's a person that most people had to look up. When I, I, I used to watch the old show before school. <laughs> you do not recognize me? I am Michael Morbius. Morbius? You can't be serious. Dead serious. You know, 
original, like the I'm talking like the 70s, 80s cartoon, and Morbius was in it, and that's where I learned who he was, but I haven't read a comic book about him or thought about Morbius in a decade, not a decade, I'm not that old, but maybe six or seven years. I think that would be smart to tap into fairly unknown villains for the masses. Mm-hmm. I assume a lot of Spider-Man comic uh, people probably know the character pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but for the masses, I think that's pretty cool to tap into a character like that. Whereas, you know, we're getting Penguin for the DC, um, Matt Reeves' Batman trilogy. It's also funny because we have um, the Vulture, Michael Keaton, played Batman and Jared Leto played the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to talk more when the movie actually comes out and we can see it. But comment down below, let us know what you guys thought. If you found any other Easter eggs or hey, maybe this is what my theory is on the Spider Man painting with murder on it in the alleyway. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. There should be a bell. You should hit that so you're notified when other videos come up. We'll talk to you guys later. I want to do some effects where I go kiss, kiss, and little like gun things go. Make mine kisses. All right, one, two, three. You kept going, but it's fine.